the last week in 2022. This mother has a tattoo too. No more babies in the future for her. The end of motherhood. With the departure of this infant in two to three years time. She will live a lonely and purposeless existence. Since October, it seems the authority has stepped up the sterilization program. Those troops that hang around this section of Golden Hill Road after the dam have fared worse in this renewed effort. But out of the lot, Nora's troop has suffered the most. Most of the adult, reproductive females, apart from Nora, now all sport that tattoo. Dora is among one of the few lucky ones. We should still see new babies from her in the coming years. Yes, those little bundle of joy and energy.
those bittersweet moments in the course of a baby growing up. Some of them will still be able to experience them in the foreseeable future. The saddest thing is some of them will never ever experience motherhood at all, like Lockie. Nessie will be Lockie's last baby sibling, and also Locke's last baby as well. Those bittersweet moments will become a distant memory for her in the future. A blessing for Locke that she doesn't know. Only four of the backbone adult females in Nora's troop, including Nora, are left as nature intended.
things aren't looking up for the most unfortunate troop on Monkey Hill in 2022 again. They only have one new member among the dwindling number. There were three new babies, but only Guajio has made it. And one thing has become clear why the fortune of this most unfortunate troop is declining even farther. One of Loina's sterilized daughters has become unhinged. Bo! Now we know she was responsible for the death of at least four babies since 2017. Three of them were her very own nephews and nieces. The future of Loina's troop now hinges on whether Loina's heirs, Fluffy and Fotsy can stand up to their very domineering older sterilized sister, Bo. Things have remained status quo for Skullhead's troops since the passing of Skullhead last May. A troop less organized, and sometimes fragmented, I am actually amazed that their new alpha, Wild has pulled off so far. It is still a very respected troop along Golden Hill Road. And for the few females I follow in Skullhead's troop, it has been a mixed year of sadness and happiness. Martha has a baby, Bubble who is still alive and kicking as we speak. But Tina's tie disappeared in July, presumably dead. Twenty twenty two has also been a mixed bag for our gang. Between the end of February and early March, Lily's girl, Lillaby, disappeared. Touch wood. So far, nothing has happened to her little girl, Lullaby. Despite the many changes, mostly undesirable we have witnessed since the lockdown, our gang is still trotting along. Tracy is now on to her third baby in a row, and they are all doing well as we speak. <coughs> 
and finally there is a glimmer of hope for Haggy's family. They finally have a baby in a very long time. Huey. And for our beloved family of Reddy. Reddy has herself another baby, Dippity. Her fifth baby in a row. But sadly, Reddy has also lost her first granddaughter. Ree, Dimpy's first baby. Poor Ree was killed in a road traffic accident in November. She was only with us for five months and a week only. And I suspect Betsy also suffered the same fate. Bossy's granddaughter disappeared when she was just around four months old. And for Gypsy, touch wood, nothing bad has happened to her boy, Kylie, so far. And I suspect Betsy also suffered the same fate. Bossy's granddaughter disappeared when she was just around four months old. He has actually been faring well with her mum Gypsy. I think Gypsy has mellowed a bit in the last year. She doesn't enforce her nursing rule as rigidly as she used to. Things might have seemed to be moving slowly on Monkey Hill. but it's been like a whirlwind of change in Hong Kong in the last three years.
This isn't the Hong Kong I am familiar with anymore. Let's hope things will remain status quo for the monkeys here. They have been protected by the country parks ordinance passed under the British for close to a century. Will the ordinance still be observed and respected? I don't think there is any other place quite like Monkey Hill in the world. A green oasis of wilderness right in the center of one of the world's most populated mega cities.
come whatever change, let's hope this place will be protected and cherished forever.